Hello viewers, this is Dr. Professor M. Bali, Padma Shri awardee by the Government of India, working at Sir Gangaram Hospital as a senior consultant in the Department of Medicine and also working in the hypertension and cardiology non-invasive practice. I am also practicing as senior consultant and director at Jerry Hope Clinic, Greater Kalash Part 2. My volume of the patients mainly depends on the influx of the patients sometimes from abroad and from outside Delhi and also around and in Delhi. It's mainly non-invasive and preventive cardiology and preventive cardio diabetes I am practicing. India has always welcomed medical tourism and we are the best providers of the medical tourism because we go by ethics, we go by international guidelines and we have the best doctors of the world in India who have made their mark and name in the practice. We have current guidelines of primary and secondary prevention of the cardiac disease which makes a big volume of the patients in India. And in the primary prevention, we mainly observe the correct assessment evaluation of the patient, their status, their pre-diabetic status, their weight, their hypertension, tobacco intake, smoking and other diseases which can cause heart disease like dyslipidemia, pre-diabetes, and frank diabetes and also diseases related to the family. If they have a family heart attacks or history of sudden deaths, then we value them and we incorporate them in the treatment. As far as the secondary prevention goes, we add on the recent modalities of the treatment like CABG. We do all types of CABG, minimal invasive CABG, beating heart surgery. We do provide the latest and best stents in India at a very reasonable price and that is the reason I say medical tourism is affected because of our competitive rates and best doctors combined. And we have hospitals which offer the services at par with the international hospitals and almost there is no waiting period involved. Yes, we always do ethical practices. We do not overdo surgeries and I would not fail to mention there was a hospital closed in uh, recent decades in the United States because the hospital was doing CAPG for money and for fame. So we do not do this and our patients are very satisfied. We properly evaluate them and our cardiologist immediately refer a patient which has a status to go for coronary artery bypass and they don't mishandle the arteries and they don't try to put a stents where surgery or bypass is indicated. So we are very fair and very thorough and methodical and our results are best. I have a doctor in the Gangaram Hospital who has done 3,000 bypass surgeries and none of his patients has died so far. He is a uh, Limca book record holder. Cardiovascular issues, challenges are youngsters are starting smoking at a larger pace. Girls are smoking. Girls have more stress. Boys have more stress. They are sleep deprived. They are having electronic cigarettes thinking that they are beneficial. They are having more junk foods, they are having obesity. They get so much offense on their body that the body gets a trauma. And mind you, when I tell trauma, the coronary artery, coronary arteries are very vulnerable arteries. Their inside lining, which we call coronary endothelium, is affected by stress, by infection, by trauma of any kind, including higher lipids in the body and also infection. Mind you, infection I say twice. The burden of the cardiovascular disease can be reduced markedly. Why I say this? Because this is one of the most important preventable cause to prevent the death. And we do so very stressfully because if we try to diagnose the naive cardiovascular patients, obese patients, young CADs, then we can treat them very effectively, judiciously, and also produce the best results. Even in secondary prevention, if we timely observe the bypass and the stenting and then put the patients on aspirin, judiciously statins, and control their blood pressure, control their diabetes, control their weight, this is also done by adding some drugs like beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, so we have the best results. Apart from that, patients do require a very cohesive and very healthy atmosphere in the hospitals. So we have dedicated these spaces where the patients can see the nice paintings, visual arts. And these paintings do help in healing of the patients, early going to home 
and also not only to the patient but to the staff also for better discharge of the duties. You know, this has been studied in detail in the United Kingdom and in Birmingham, London and uh, Stockholm also this has been found to be very beneficial because whatever our eyes see goes to the brain and then brain also helps in healing. That is what we do with yoga and this is a visual yoga. By visual yoga not only the patient gets early recovery, positive recovery and less duration of his stay and better results but the paramedical staff, the nursing staff do their best in discharging the duties toward the patient. They are more patient centric, they do not divert their attention to other things and they think positive. So positivity in a cardiac patient is a very important, positivity in the staff is very important and in hospital the stay of the patient is minimized and is more positive because seeing the better visual arts, seeing the painting, seeing the greenery, seeing the waterfalls and paintings like this can help definitely in the healing process of the patient which has a very very positive result. So good hospitals do spend some money in buying the good paintings and put them across in the dedicated spaces and those are also kept in the rooms of the patients instead of seeing the bad news on TV every day as we are having we can see the soothing painting and that would also done at the roof of the hospital because when the patient is lying the roof painting is also part of it and I would say healing through painting.